Hey everybody, it's Gary here, and I wanna talk about the next step in getting your business up and running. Now at this point, you should have your business idea, you should have your business domain name, and remember, you have to have the .com and snatch up all that other stuff that goes along with it. But you also need to have a project manager because there are going to be a lot of moving pieces in this puzzle. And if you don't get things organized right from the get-go and use a project manager, you are going to have trouble. Now, you may think, well, it's only going to be me working on this project. I don't have any money, so I have to use all my time. But the reality is, even if it's you, you have to have something that keeps you organized. You can work off of a spreadsheet. You can work off of a lot of other tools but nothing works as well as a real project manager and one specifically oriented towards small business. Now, obviously we have a bias towards our own tools at CloudNet360, and I am going to use that one because we developed it to run our own internal business. We use it every single day for our own internal business. I'm very comfortable with it, I like it, it's easy, and it does exactly what I need it to do. But there are other options out there. Uh, one of the more popular ones is Basecamp. Uh, we used to use that one before we had too many shortcomings with it and had to create our own project manager. But it's a very popular project manager to use. The reality is, it doesn't matter which one you use, but you have to use a project manager. Because at some point in time, you will be overwhelmed with all the details that you have created and then forgot. And at some point in time, realistically you're going to have to pull other people into your project whether it's a web designer whether it's a graphic artist whatever the case might be you need to have one centralized area where everybody is working and staying organized and staying focused go off and get a project manager that's the next thing that I'm going to set up and I'm going to show you how we set up our project manager and whether you use Basecamp or the CloudNet360 project manager or some other project manager out there, they all are essentially the same. The concepts are pretty much the same. And all I'm getting at is use it. That's the most important thing. Use a project manager. All right, tomorrow we'll get into some of the details of how we set up a project manager, some of the ways I structure it, and uh, we'll start populating it with the tasks that are needed to get this business up and running. Thank you.